welcome back to another diecast haul. Now we have four brand new boxes full of NASCAR diecast, and one is a 124. This big boy right here. Now this can either be one of two 124s because I ordered two. Uh, we'll have to see which one is you know in the box. Of course, I ordered a 2009 Dell Junior COT, and then of course I ordered the 2012 Drive In Hunger Jeff Gordon for a custom. Both of those are going to be for customs, but we'll just have to see which one is in that box. We got three boxes right here on 164s. I think this was. Uh, from eBay. Yeah, because this one's a little bit smaller, so I think this is from eBay, and then these are probably from K-State, or, you know, just whatever. And then I think this I got, yeah, I got this on eBay, too, because both of the 124s I bought was both on eBay. So, yeah, got a 124, and I don't know how many 164s, but, yeah, let's go ahead and see what is in this diecast haul, because I'm pretty sure we got some very nice diecasts in these boxes right here. All right, we're going to go from smallest to biggest, so this is the smallest right here. It's got Fragile on the side, or Fragile, of course. So, I have no clue what's in this box, so let's go ahead and take a look at this. I'm going to get the knife out and kind of cut her open, see what is inside. So, how is everybody's day? You know, I hope it's going good for everybody, and if not, I hope it does get better. I uh, have been working on a lot of projects, but I've been a little bit behind because of, um, I've been having some printer issues. So, oh, that reminds me. I'm going to have a YouTube channel update here soon. I don't know when, but it is going to be soon, so stay tuned for that. I got some... Uh, talking to or some talking to there it is i got some talking to do about some schedule changes and stuff like that so we'll go ahead and get into that later on so i got some paper right here fantastic gotta love the paper but it is what inside the paper is what counts oh yeah okay i remember ordering this one because i i don't think i had it but this is probably my favorite Dell junior paint scheme all time absolutely favorite the Diet Mountain Dew Silver Paint Scheme. Now, this is 2014. They've had it since, like, what, 2011 to 2014, I think. So this is the last year uh, they had this paint scheme, I do believe. I don't think they had it in 2015. I do think they stopped in 2014, though. But this was the paint scheme that had the, the Dell call. Do you remember that? The, like, the engine that it was supposed to call Dell Jr., of course, you saw on uh, TV. That, ad that advertisement was actually pretty cool. Uh, so, yeah, this is the paint scheme. And, this again, this is my favorite Dell Jr. paint scheme ever, at all times. So, well, at least for the Gen 6 era, this is my favorite all time. But yeah, very, very nice paint scheme. I was going to make a custom of it, but like I was going to do some damage and stuff cause from a certain race. I'm not going to say just yet, but I don't know if I'm going to because this I think this is rare. I think it's rare, so I might keep it. I might not. I don't know. I might find another one somewhere else. A uh, different year, same thing. You know what I mean. But yeah, very nice die cast. So let's go ahead and move on to our second box. So I felt both of the boxes because they're the same size. So what I do is I do from smallest to biggest and lightest to heaviest. So this is lighter than the other box. So we will do the heavier box uh, like this. And then of course we'll get on to the 124. So let's go ahead and see what is in this bad boy right here. Go ahead and cut this tape. I need a better knife. This knife is not very sharp. I think I have another one. I just don't know where it is. But yeah, also I got a little bit of uh, some news right here just real quick. I'm going to be... Like, okay, so you guys have been wanting a die cast, not a die cast tour, but like a collection video for a while. Now, I did one a while back, but I, I just, I never really got to a lot of them. And of course, I got a whole lot more since then. So, I'm going to be moving a whole bunch of stuff, and I'm going to be turning this building right here that my studio's in, I'm going to be turning this into more of a, like, area where I do my gaming, my recording, stuff like that. And then I'll have all the die cast in my old bedroom. Uh, so yeah, then we'll do a diecast tour, or reveal, whatever, uh, whatever that happens. We did get one step closer yesterday. We installed a heating and cooling unit into this building, so now I'm not going to be burning up or freezing whenever I come in here. So that is awesome. I don't know if my thing just cut off there because I got a call, but all I was saying was we got an AC or a heating and cooling unit in this building, so I'm not going to either freeze or burn to death when I walk into this building to do some recording. So yeah, all we need to do is have a Wi-Fi booster, and we should be uh, we should be about there. So in this box right here, I got a Plan B Cell sticker or Circle B diecast sticker, which is pretty interesting because I got this from KStateDieCast.com. I don't know if they like bought KState out. I don't know what the deal is, but. Uh, it's like, oh, it's like the exact same layout as Plan B Cell, so I mean, I don't know what kind of happened there. But yeah, we got a sticker, that's pretty cool, I haven't had a sticker yet, so that's awesome. We got two die cast, oh, wait, is it two? I, I think it's two, I don't know. So we got this one right here, which is the Jimmy Johnson Darlington Throwback. You may be thinking, didn't you already just review this and you bought this already? Well, yeah, but I'm going to use this for my throwback 
uh, for the NASCAR Dirt Last Cup Series because I got the wheels and stuff there. I was going to do the Chase Elliott, but it had the playoffs banner, and I don't need the playoffs banner, so I just got the normal Cup Series banner. Uh, so yeah, that's going to be turned into a custom. I am sorry, Jimmy Johnson fans. I know, I know. I'm sorry. I apologize. We got another one for a custom. And that's going to be the number 43 of Daryl Wallace Jr. or Bubba Wallace, Black Lives Matter. I'm surprised this was still in stock, honestly. Of course, no disrespect to the Black Lives Matter movement because I, I'll admit I could have picked any other die cast to turn into a custom. But I was just like, I don't know, I just, I, it was literally the first one that I saw that had the normal wheels and the Cup Series banner. So I'm like, you know what, I'll just get that. So yeah, that's why I got this. So far, we had almost said so, so far. So far, we got two definite customs and maybe a third custom. We don't know for sure. Uh, but yeah, take a look at that. Got three brand new die casts in the studio. Well, of course, one's 2014. But still, we got some uh, die casts to review. And we will review the Dale Earnhardt Jr. Because I don't think we've reviewed the Dale Jr. paint scheme at all. I think I'm going to start doing older die cast reviews. Like, because again, I started my channel in 2014 or 2016, right? It was 2016. I uploaded my first video in 2016. So, I'm going to do like a whole bunch of older diecast reviews and stuff like that. And we'll just see how that goes. But, with that being said, let's go ahead and move on to the final box. Or not the final box, the final small box. But before, I'm going to put this little Plan B sale sticker back here because I do appreciate them. So yeah, let's go ahead and take a look at the other box we got right here beside me. Now this guy... This guy's a little bit heavier, so we're going to see what is inside the box. Now, I'm not even going to lie. <laughs> I uh, did a lot of pre-ordering earlier, like yesterday, and I may have bought, I don't know, like 12 die casts uh, on, for pre-order. Yeah, so we got some more coming, uh, so be sure to stay tuned for those, because that's going to be awesome. I, I promise you, this wall right here, it's only one layer, right? I swear it's going to be like three layers before the 2020 diecast releases are over, because we're just getting so many. So we got, of course, we got some pack and popcorn, or pack and peanuts right here. Ooh, look at these. Okay, so I was wondering if these were ever going to come in, because these were also pre-orders. Got Kyle Weatherman in the number 47 back the blue diecast. Very, very nice. As soon as I saw this, I'm like, Yes, I'm, I'm getting that. That's mine. I was so hoping they would make this. I didn't think they would. I really didn't, but I'm so glad they did. Very, very awesome diecast. You guys know I'm a huge fan of, like, you know, police stuff, police force, stuff like that. Uh, just law enforcement in general. So, yeah, very, very happy to have this diecast and a very, very nice diecast, I might add. Of course, it's supposed to represent uh, CHP or California Highway Patrol. It's got the black and white the door on the top and stuff like that. So, yeah, very, very awesome. This is also a Dongton throwback. I forgot about that. So, yeah, very, very cool. All right, let's see what else is in the box. Oh, we got multiple. All right. Let's see here. So we got the number 77, Justin Haley. Unfortunately, the all-star die cast. So I really wish this die cast was standard. Okay, so here's the thing. Here's what makes me sad. This was offered in the standard, like the 77 was right here, like in the middle, like it was supposed to be, but it was canceled. But then they threw this into the all-star race. And then it got made. I'm like, really? You couldn't have, like, what? That surprises me. That actually surprises me. It's crazy. Because it's like, really? You're going to let a 77 Justin Haley go in a standard scheme, but you're going to have them make the all-star one? Like, I don't I don't understand. You guys, with the pre-ordering, you, you guys are a little weird. I'm not going to lie. It's a little odd. So, let's see. We got two more. Yeah, we got two more right here. If I can get it out. Come on. There we go. So, we got another Justin Allgaier dog to throw back right here. This is for T-Mac. I'm doing a trade with him. So, that's why I got this right here. Well, this is already reviewed on the channel. If you want to go see that review along with the Jimmy Johnson review, you can check that out. Well, the Bubble Walls review, too. Uh, you can check that out down in the description below if you want to go see those if you have not already. But still, very, very nice die cast. Let's put that right in the middle there. There we go. Now, let's have got one more and already took a peek to see what it was. And it is going to be the Darlington throwback for Joey Logano. Now, I've, of course, I've already got this die cast uh, reviewed on the channel. You can check that out with the link below as well. So you can check out four die cast reviews, and that's going to be the number 7, number 48, number 43, and, of course, the 22. This is also for a trade. This is to uh, Jared, my good friend Jared. We play NASCAR Heat 4 together sometimes on the PC. Uh, very, very cool dude. So, yeah, I'm going to be trading this with him. That's why I bought it. But, yeah, it uh, came in finally because it canceled my order. And I'm like, okay, interesting. So, 
I guess they still went through. I, I don't know what happened, but yeah, we got that nonetheless. But so far we got, what, seven brand new die casts for the channel. Well, not for the channel, but, you know, we got seven brand new die casts. If I can freaking look this thing up. There we go, right there. We got seven awesome die casts in the studio. And, of course, we've already reviewed half of them. So, again, link in the description if you want to go check those out. And all these die casts on the wall behind me are reviewed on the channel. So, you can go check those out. I'm not going to link all of those, but I will definitely for sure have those still posted and it's in a playlist so you can go check that out if you'd like. So look at this. This box is way too big for the in frame right here. So you can see no matter how far I scoot it back, it's going to be out of frame. So we're just going to open this and get a live reaction. I am expecting this to be the Dell Jr. one because I, I reviewed the, or not reviewed, I ordered the Dell Jr. before the uh, Gordon. So let's go ahead and see what we got here now with the gordon i uh i won an auction right i was actually very close to being outbid and i was going to be so sad now my good friend big z racing will not appreciate uh the the die cast that is going to be made out of the 24 but let's see which one this one is oh look at that it is a 24 so uh, apparently i guess uh, this one came first because it is supposed to be I, I like again i ordered the dell jr way before this I mean, I'm not going to complain whatsoever, but yeah, I, I, I did order that first. But look at this. We got the number 24, Jeff Gordon. It's been a while since we've done a Jeff Gordon die cast, other than, of course, the Rainbow Warrior Authentics from the iRacing that had a terrible number. But look at that. I think this is the first Jeff Gordon 124 that I've owned, and I'm going to destroy it. So, yeah, this is going to be a recreation of the 2012 Daytona flip of his, where he was, you know, sliding on a side and all that stuff. I actually hate to do that because that is a very, very nice paint scheme. So, it is unfortunate, but I mean, you know, it is what it is. You guys know me. I am the die cast destroyer. That's what I do. But yeah, let's go ahead and uh, take a look at all these awesome die casts that we got right here. Let's just put these out in front. Let's kind of move these to the side just so we can kind of get a good little display area right here so you can see what we got in store. Of course, I got the sticker back there. We can't forget the sticker, right? So, let's see. We're going to have these up here. These there. Actually, I might... Yeah, there we go. I'll put the sticker there. So, I'm not covering a die cast or anything. So, let's see. How about... Actually, you know what? No, that's not going to work. We'll, we'll do this. This is what we're going to do. So, take a look at this. Very, very nice little display right here of some die casts that we got. Of course. Let's see if I can get this in frame just a little bit more. I doubt it, but who knows. Let's scoot it back a little bit go up a little bit there we go now you can see the sticker and everything in all of its glory so the die cast reviews that are going to be coming out of this haul is going to be the 88 the 47 the 77 and the 24 because of course we've got all the other die cast reviews in the link in the description or as a link in the description so you can go see that once again but yeah i would say it is a very 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 successful die cast haul we got a lot of goodies in here uh, of course we're going to be doing some customs with these so stay tuned for that but i do believe that's going to be all for this die cast haul so thank you all so much for watching i hope y'all enjoyed and i will see you in the next video Upside down.